guys welcome back okay so today I went ahead and tried out this new mini palette from Juvia's Place this is the violet palette and it is the last palette from the collection that I am trying out and it's very very pretty <laughs> you guys know I love purples I love blues and so because of that I wanted to save this one for last so this is the palette I used to create this look today. If you're not familiar with it, these are the shadows that are in this palette. So it is just completely purple violet based. There are four shimmers in this palette and two mattes. And I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I kind of wish there was one more matte shade in here, like three mattes, three shimmers, but it's okay, you know, I worked it out. But yeah, this palette is very, very pretty, gorgeous. I I mean, this eye look today, of course, I did a cut crease, as you can see, with just a gradient lid. I used shades one, three, four, and six. And this was one of the easiest eye looks that I've ever done. <laughs> like, honestly, these shadows are very easy to work with. Like I said, I like Juvia's Places formula, but these palettes, in my opinion, are very pigmented, gorgeous colors, and just easy to work with. So let's go ahead, jump into some swatches, and then we can get into this look. So these are the swatches for this palette. As you can see, the super duper dark purple swatches terribly and this lighter matte doesn't swatch the best. Let me go over with another swatch for you just so you can see that they are buildable, which I already know they're extremely buildable. I mean, using that dark purple on my eyes, super easy and the light purple blended it out like a dream okay so even though they don't swatch the best they performed very nicely on my eyes and the shimmers as you can see are absolutely gorgeous very very pretty this one here this one here and this one i have on my lid as well so so pretty so those are the swatches you guys first impression on this palette I like it, I'm not surprised. Like I said, in my chocolates video, I love Juvia's Places formula. I never have any issues using it. Shimmer's a bomb and <laughs> I really, really like the pigmentation of these palettes. I think they did a good job with hitting that pigmentation. So if you'd like to see how I created this look today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, so to start out this look today, I'm going into the dark purple shade, which is shade number three. And I'm just using a small, dense blending brush from e.l.f. to place this dark purple shadow on my lid in the shape that I actually want this eye look to be. Once I saw how pigmented it was, I just decided to go in and gently build it up. And as you can see, I'm just kind of carving out the cut crease shape for this look using this shadow. Now to blend that dark purple shade out, I'm going into the only other matte shadow in the palette, which is this lilac color. It's a very light purple shade. And I'm just using another flat dense blending brush to blend out the edge of that dark purple. I really wanted a nice blend between those two colors. And as you can see, they're blending together very nicely. It's giving me a very nice soft edge on that darker purple. I actually really, really like this color. It's very pretty. Now, because I didn't want that purple to go so far up under my brow bone, 
I decided to go in with some of my finishing powder that's basically the same color as my skin and just use it right under my brow bone so that it blends in nicely with that light purple shade but it's not going up too far. So you can see the difference there. Now I'm taking my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm basically using a flat brush to create kind of like a eyeliner line and then I'm looking up so that it will leave a mark to where my cut crease should stop. I don't know if you guys are all familiar with that trick, but it's very, very easy for us hooded eye girls to know exactly where to start or where to stop that cut crease line. Now I'm going back into that dark purple and I'm just using that in the outer corner just to create that nice gradient look for this cut crease and I'm just tapping it on, slowly building it up until it gets nice and opaque, gently blending it into the upper portion in my crease. Now I'm going into shade number one. It's a beautiful purple shade and I'm just placing that right next to that dark purple on the outer portion of my lid. And as you can see for this shadow, I didn't even spray my brush because from what I experienced with the chocolates palette, I just wanted to see if I would prefer this shimmer dry as well. And I actually do. Now I'm going into the lighter purple shimmer and I decided to go ahead and spray my brush for this one. If you don't spray your brush, you will get more fallout from the shimmer shadows, not anything crazy but you will get a little bit more fallout on your cheek if you don't spray your brush. And so with this one, I did go ahead and spray it because I wanted to get a nice bright pop on that light shimmer. Now I'm just going back in with what's left over on the brush from the first darker shimmer so I can blend that into the lighter shimmer and just create a nice gradient on my lid. For eyeliner today, I'm using my NYX, NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. And just creating a nice simple wing. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and complete my complexion off camera. And then I'll come back and we'll finish up this lower lash line. Now that my complexion is done, I'm going in with one of my ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliners and just placing this on my lower lash line. And I will list all of the products that I used on my face today in the description box for you guys if you are curious. Now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into that dark purple matte. And I'm just using a kind of like a fat pencil brush to blend that out under my lash line and smoke it out gently. Now for my inner corner pop, I decided to use one of my Wet n Wild highlighters. This one is like a lavender shade highlighter. And I'm just taking some of that, spraying my brush, and I'm gently rubbing it on the inner corner just to give me a nice lavender pop to go along with this eye look. These Wet n Wild highlighters are great for inner corner pops, especially if you're doing a colored eye look. Now I'm just going in with my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara using this on my upper and lower lashes for today's look. And of course, setting it all in place with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So this is the look today, you guys. I must say, I really like this palette. I'm not surprised. I had a feeling I would like this palette because I love purples and lilacs and I think that they just go gorgeous with brown eyes. So I really enjoyed using this palette. 
but honestly my favorite out of all of them is the chocolates i know that's surprising but i really like the chocolates so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles <laughs>